This video solves the problem an assembly specified in the application dependencies manifests something else in the ASP.NET Core application uh, was not found. So it's always the for and by a default application you have the ASP.NET Core anti forgery. Something is going wrong. Now I should first show you my application. Now this is my web server. And on, on my small demo application, I started to run this application. And as soon as I started it, I got this error, which is called HTTP error 502. And now <clears throat> what I did is I went to my application here to explore. I have activated in the config log enabled is true so we as soon as i impl implemented the log folder there the log was written and inside there is now the, the error which is the important stuff what we do here an assembly specified in the application dependencies manifest blah 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 was not found version 2.2 so what happens um, i show you on my Side. Uh, when I'm developing locally, that's my on my local uh, machine running the IIS, uh, the, the um, Visual Studio 2017. When I run it there, I simply developed a new project and so on and said, okay, create an ASP.NET Core application. Then the system uh, uses the uses the core ASP.NET Core, and you will find the project stuff, the version stuff, and all the stuff here in edit edit this application. And inside there, it's written item group. Uh, the package reference is Microsoft ASP.NET Core All version two point zero six. Now, when you install, um, and I think it's also in somewhere in here, it should have, here it is. NuGet Microsoft ASP.NET Core All 2.06. Because it's a big, big advantage of, uh, micro, of the ASP.NET Core application. So then I uh, published it. That's how to publish an ASP.NET Core application. Uh, diff that's different to the former applications publishing and then I took the uh, from the bin folder that's written here from the bin folder the release when you publish it then you have here this one we go to the open folder in file explorer then these are the files I copied that files to my to my web server and inside my web server, I've dropped all that stuff and I thought, okay, everything is in there. So that's my files. But uh, when you set up uh, an ISP.NET Core server, you have to implement the... You have to run the... .NET Core 2.05 Windows Hosting Exe. So this is the uh, this enables the local IIS server to run with a Kistrel um, core. So this is wrong. As you see, this is the version 2.0.5. That's the default what you get when you uh, when you're looking in the internet for the download for of that call um, of that stuff and now I go here to my website I do it like this I said okay on my local side I have here package reference 2.0.6 now we go to the web and say .NET Core 2.0.6 Windows Hosting bam bam then there comes the download now I want to download it. Uh, 
Hosting Bundle Installer. Okay, now I go there. I say, okay, there's no hosting. I didn't find it. I take it. Now I go to my web server. Now we are still on the server and I start now the Windows Hosting Exe. While this stuff is running, I will uh, stop that one. So, system is there. Now we start the IIS again. And we restart it, browse it. Ah, great. Now that's my local website. Everything is fine. And now when I go out of the system, go to my local stuff, taping my ready.net and it's there. How beautiful.